Before I address the lesson deathless we had this week, watch this rotation and then the hand path and the flip over the bat. The bat flips over when you explode the hands to the point of contact. Look at Ryan Harvey, top power hitter in the game. Hands come up, gets back to that connected position, and his hand path goes down from an upper position. All pulled by the rotation. The very last thing to come is the hands in the rotation. They come late. There's a pull snap and a little bit of extension at the end, and it's a very square hit. Harvey, one of the top players in the game. Watch the hands back connection. This was a problem we had. This is Frank Henry, a Canadian pro, just got a beautiful, beautiful swing. Watch how the hands come back and he gets separation between the front foot and the hands, and then he gets connection to boot, what we call connection of the hands to the hips to the lower body. D. Murray Pro Davis Billardello. Uh, Billardello really has a distinct hand path down to the ball. Knob initially goes in, the hands take over, all pulled by the rotation. Look how the rotation is almost open before he makes impact. That's one of the big keys of the swing. One of the big reasons why he's a great conference player and a good hitter. Here's our first guy, Matt. Matt has a lot of explosiveness, but look at him, Matt. Yarn coming ahead, and watch how you drop the back shoulder, and yet swing angle is so radically up. That's the most radical swing angle up I've ever seen. You hit some balls 350, but also you hit a lot of ground balls because it's like a tennis top spin. You're always swinging over the top of it. Snap doesn't look bad. It's just a ridiculous angle. What's the reverse angle here of... Um, Robert Blackburn, look how his front shoulder comes down and he's level. And watch your hand path and you drop your back shoulders in rotation straight up. You're trying to lift it, not drive it. So we worked on that hard. Again, Blackburn, that very big guy, probably about your size and just a great cutting swing. Now we've got Harry here and Harry didn't get the hands back very good. You see that? And then the knob came up and it's a kind of a golfing looping swing out there. Now he had some good swings too, but Harry, first of all, get the pinky off the end of the bat, my man, but uh, the hands don't come back all the way. You aren't connected. Look at, look at how Henry's hands come back all the way. It's like throwing a punch or throwing a discus. The hands are pulled all the way back. Now we go to Rich. Look at Rich. Your hands are the same thing. They never come back. It's like punching with your hands in the middle of your chest. And also you're early. If you bring your hands back, it counter rotates the upper body, it gives you the ability to stay back. But you're lowering on the rear leg, reaching the head, that's really good. And you had the most level of the swings uh, for the most part. But again here, watch the rotation. Look how much more level the swing is than the path of the pitch coming in. You cannot match your swing path or hand path to the ball coming in. Which, Johnny, you do right here. Watch the knob come up. Right to the path of the pitch, you're right over the top of it. When you start your snap, when you have your lag right here, when you get to the point where your top hand starts to blow past the bottom hand, wherever your knob aimed, that's where the snap's going to happen. Watch the knob come up above the ball, watch where you finish, right where your knob was aiming. So we had to work on that. Bob, not a very aggressive stride, and actually you change positions of your hands or levels of your hands a couple times on this opening swing sequence. Watch Brett how simplified his is. Hands are back, point A to point B on a straight line towards where the ball is going to be. Again, look, your, your hands aren't back, the knob comes up, the hands drip down, and you made some tremendous improvement, but watch how clean this is. A to B, rotation pulls the hands, the very last thing that comes is a snap. It's almost like you get so much momentum going forward off the hips and the bat whips through. I thought, it was, I thought it was a real good explanation of how the hips open first. You know, the very last thing that comes is your snap. You follow me? You have to have the hips open. Does that make sense at all? Yeah, those pros were almost all identical. Yeah, so somebody yeah. says, oh, if I was 6'4", 250, well, you'd still have a shitty swing. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true. The pros have grit. They're not only talented, but they have great mechanics on it. The, the mechanics make sense, okay? Hey, you have, to, you have to step and then throw the hips open, okay? Rotate the hips open. And that takes your hand path. You notice how the hand path always to the ball, right? And it's almost like, I don't want to use the term drag, but it's almost like the, the rotation is pulling the hands. You know, you're not getting outside and ahead. And you can see where the, you know, where there's a, where there's a rollover. If you, if you get into a rollover, you can chase it out every, anywhere you can. But the biggest thing I think that I saw out of you all yesterday was that the starting hand position is a killer. It's this killer on a lot of swings. And almost everybody here, well, I mean, there's a couple things from yesterday's video that we'll look at. The first day is always an adjustment. The second day, people always, when they see their swings on the video, because how many of you have seen your swings before on video? Not very many. So now you go back, you understand, you have to videotape. I go in every session I videotape 
you know, after playing, you know, being 68, every session I go, I still videotape because I'm trying to overcome the hip and the knee and the back fusion, okay? Trying to overcome it. That's why you always have to constantly monitor because it'll change on you. But the one thing you, we, we can start with on everybody is, is the hand position. And the reason that Brett and I start people to swing makeover uh, with the hand position is we want to get back to a connected position, okay? Right here. Hands are pulled back all the way. My hands can't go back any farther. So what I also feel is because the lead arm is back pretty straight, I feel tightness in my lap. That means I'm connected from the shoulders, the hand through the shoulders to the core of the body, all the way to the hips and to my feet. And almost the everybody bottom. started with the hands down. You see that? Yes. yes. And what happens when the hands are down, there's going to be a tendency to pull them back up and to pull them too far, and then all of a sudden you end up with this inside out golfing snap, okay? So key to get the hands back. And so what do we do? How can we fix that? We, I kept talking about it yesterday to every one of you, but you can see, you know, Bob, yours, yours are, are down and they're right, you're about right here. And sometimes yours are back here, sometimes not. Everybody's is about the same. Start with your hands back. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Just start in this position, okay? It's something that people <coughs> say is unique about watching the one Brett and I teach. When Brett was in, base, in high school baseball, he started with his hands like that, you know? You'll always have a little bit of a dip. There's always a little bit of a, of a dip in the hands, but it reinforces being in that position, okay? Bat parallel to the ground. The one thing is watch yourself the bat's not out here. You know, it, it looks like Ty Cobb from the 1900s, but if you bring it back here and cock it, you're in a good position there, okay? Can I just ask a quick question on that? When he got it back there, I could not my tendency to drop, but when I drop, I know I drop this way. But it's okay to drop this way, but keep that. Sure. Just right. I, I, th I think, Harry, right. the point being is that pros start in all different positions. Rusty Bumgarner used to start here, but when they pull line and push ahead, they always come back. When you you're know? in that spot. You know, you, if you want to hit something, you'd hit, you want to pull your hands back. That makes sense, you're doesn't it? When you step down, you got to be. When your front step comes down, it's you want to be, be back. And that's start right. here, here, here. Right. Step that, that's connection. That lead, that lead arm should be back. You can say it two ways. I can say my rear elbow, my side, and the lead arm back. That's too technical. Just say bring your hands back all the way. My elbow's up, or my hands back all the way. No, my, my hands back all the way. The hands are back all the way. The elbow wants to go down, and the battle lay more parallel. Okay, that's as far back as I can get my hands, because that's as far back as my uh, lead arm can be. And you don't want to have it so rigidly straight. There can be a little bit of a bend in it, but I certainly don't want guys here because. Typically, I think it reinforces you getting back when your front foot's down, getting this connection position. We call it connection. Some guys call it separation. You feel like though, like you're coiling up. You have a little bit of a wind. You follow me? You're pushing forward into your stride, and you feel like there's a little bit of a counter rotation here, which is good because if you're going to throw a discus or if you're going to punch, you wouldn't just go like this, right? You would go ahead and counter rotate as you came ahead. <coughs> First of all, it's twofold. The hands never get back to the connected position for you all yesterday. But the other thing was, you would make, you, and we understand their hand path always wants to be pull snap down to the ball. Well, almost every one of you, except for maybe Rich, would get here and you step and drop that back shoulder enough so that my hand path could come up, you know. It's, it's a bad addiction of wanting to swing up all the time, you know. You can drop, you can drop your shoulder. That's why people say don't drop the back shoulder. And that is a good point from the old days. Instead of dropping the back shoulder so I make this an upswing, this ball here is below my chest, right? Below my hands, rather. So, you know, I just got to trust that I can push forward and boom, pull down to it, okay? <laughs> you see Ryan Harvey, the big guy at the oh, beard? Yeah, yeah. And you notice how his swing, he doesn't even look like he has that great of a snap, does he? No. But I mean, right. he's here, he's here, he pushes forward a nice stride. You know, he's 6'6, <laughs> 270, played in the minor leagues for a long time. But his rotation, his rotation pulls. Pulls, 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 and his hand gets to a position about like that, you follow me? His top arm doesn't really extend and snap through, but he is such a great ball striker. He gets down here, he strikes it, he's got so much power of his rotation. You don't notice his bat doesn't flinch at all, it goes right through and it ends up over here. There's other guys like that smaller guy, Robert Blackburn. He'll get here and he'll get a lot more arm extension into the snap. So there's different styles, but basically it's the same thing. Our rotation is pulling the hands towards the point of impact, okay? And we're pulling with the lead arm axe snap, okay? So right here, I'm just, swinging with, I'm just swinging with my arms, okay? My rotation is the lead to swing. That's why you have to feel like your rotation, pull, 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 right there, okay? Your rotation pulls it the whole way. Then, I think that part at the end, where if I have a higher pitch, here's why a higher pitch is better for hitting, because you're in that path longer. So again, I'll push myself forward, 
and it'll start to rotate. And look at how my hand, look at, my body's almost open, my hands still aren't, haven't come forward, right? You see that? It's the very last thing to come. I pull, 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 pull here. I can be here, okay? Or if you go, if you go really, really fast, what you'll find is that top arm will start to, start, start to extend on its own. And I'll come through here, boom. And see, I've carried all the way through that zone really good. I get the full extension out here as the wrist starts to roll over. And then there's just a release as you rotate around. So here's the drills we did, the frisbee throw. Uh, watch Harry's shoulder come down. You aren't lifting as much, and it really forces you to get the front shoulder down to throw that. Same with Bob. You drift ahead a little bit, Bob, outside the rotation, but that's getting the front shoulder down out of that lifting mode. The swing simulator is great for getting that X style, getting your hands down to the ball instead of lifting it up. Harry, watch here on the rope. Your hands come down, but they come up at the end. The rope doesn't lie. See that? You have to do it properly in order to get it correct. Hands come down, but then it, any kind of lifting, your back shoulder's down quite a bit, so it should feel like you swing down across your body. And uh, watch here, you don't have much torque on this bracelet drill, which is great, you kind of cleave underneath it. But on the second one you do here, which is great big man, you go ahead and you really rotate. Watch how your rotation leads it, and then you get a snap late. See that? That's, that's why it's important to have those things. Hand pass to the ball, but rotation leads it. And the low ball blast, you're a little bit far away from the tier, but this is just great. You keep working on this and you're gonna eliminate that uppercut swing with some good work. You just don't have to have the, the, uh, the back shoulder down. This is a great job here, Bob, of really leading with the hips and the upper body and the rope comes right down to it. It's just a phenomenal job on that. Rope trainer just doesn't lie. Your hips are going first and the rope straightens out and you get a nice snap through. Again, hand path down, you find out you don't have to lift it. Harry, you gotta, you gotta get that figure out at the end of the knob, but watch that knob come way up, and then you just hit it with kind of a golfing side snap. Uh, one thing you do is you wanna snap sooner, see? That's way up, and so you're not just aiming at the ball in the wrong area, but you gotta snap, it's gotta happen right away. Watch how you flow into the snap right away here. They say you're flowing into the snap before the nab comes up, and that's just a great shot off there. Bracelet drill is one of the great drills we can do. Uh, you, no rotation here, Bob, and look how you're just swinging down. You have to balance that rotation, and that has to lead the swing. Uh, if, otherwise, you're just going to have a down clean. But watch right here. Even though your body angle is back quite a bit, watch how your rotation leaves, but your hands are swinging down across your body to go to the point of impact, and you're flowing to the snap quick. It's a good clean hit. Here you had no stride on this wrench. You didn't do any stride, and thus you actually did swing down through it. So the first part of the, of the, of the swing as well, that stride has to be involved in it. Uh, Bob, just a, a real nice shot here. Stride, rotation, the very last thing that comes is the X snap with the lead arm, uh, lead hand guiding and snapping properly. Uh, you come down here, Johnny, the gun, the knob is aiming down. Watch how you come up, it's a side snap. You have to really work on that. That's why those other drills can help you really improve on it. This is such a hard habit to break. One thing is you're probably too far back from the, from the T2, so you have to really work on it. Harry, this looks like it's a pretty good uh, swing into the heavy bag, but watch the knob. It should stay low. Watch it come up right there. And then the bad head drops, and you try to correct it at the end. That's why it's absolutely key for getting these things. And the heavy gym stick, watch your hands come up, Johnny. But everybody improved tremendously on average of 9 or 10 miles an hour it was on the finish here. So I told you to swing down. Look at your very next swing. That's about a 350-foot bomb you hit. Your back shoulder and your flexibility, you're double jointed. And so that's, I think, something that works in your disfavor. But hit, some, uh, hit 96 miles an hour, which is incredible. Uh, Harry, here's so many swings at the end. Good pride to swing. You're level down to it. And look how you flow into the snap really good. Just had a beautiful swing for a 71-year-old guy. Harry's a, been a 45-year uh, band and rock star and musician, so pretty interesting. Bob, the hands came back. You touched your shoulder with that barrel, and then he came through and he snapped sooner. Phenomenal. Just a, just a great job. Watch how you flow into that snap sooner. You're cutting the ball. Great job. And Rich, uh, you never did go to right field ever, and you learned how to go to right field. You hit a lot of them out that way. I uh, took a better stride and got the hands back a little bit. I think that's something you can still improve, but just really proud of the group. is uh, uh, just a fun group to play with, Johnny. There's a pride to swing. And then, again, going through, getting a much better swing with a good, good extension. Let's look at these live swings at the end. Really appreciated the effort from these five athletes and tremendous camp. Look at that. There you go. See, now you're getting through it.
Nice ball. 62. <laughs> 78 miles per hour. Nice. 68 miles per hour. Oh, man. 62 miles per hour. 54 miles per hour. With two outs. Yeah. Oh, oh Rich! Nice job. Yeah. Nice ball. 68 miles per yeah. hour. 76 miles per hour. Nice, yeah, yeah. 70 miles Nice ball. 63 miles per hour. Look at that. 55 miles per good, hour. Good shot. Get out of here! Miles per hour. Get out! Nice, Johnny. 72 miles per hour. Nice shot. Oh yeah. Nice, Johnny. Nice, Johnny. 66 miles per hour. Oh yeah, baby.